Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I solve and graph two-step inequalities involving rational numbers? So solving two-step inequalities follow the same steps as solving two-step equations. The only difference is we must flip the inequality sign if we multiply or divide by a negative. So here are the steps. We need to undo the addition or subtraction with inverse operations to zero out the constant. And then we will undo the multiplication or division with inverse operations to eliminate the coefficient. And just remember, if you are multiplying or dividing by a negative, you need to flip the sign. And make sure that you are following all integer and rational number operation rules. All right, let's look at number one. I have 3.3x minus 12 is greater than or equal to 21. So the first thing I need to do is undo this minus 12 constant by adding 12 to both sides. That zeroes out and I get 3.3x is greater than or equal to 21 plus 12 is 33. And then I need to divide by 3.3. And 33 divided by 3.3 is 10. So the solution set is x is greater than 10. x is greater than or equal to 10. So I will put 10 in the middle of the number line. 9 is right below it and 11 is right above it. That'll be a closed circle on 10 since it's greater than or equal to. And then it's 11 that's greater than or equal to 10. So I'll shade towards 11. Okay, number two, I have 10.2 minus x is greater than negative 20.8. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of this constant. I know I have this subtraction sign here, but that is the sign of the x. This 10.2 is a positive. So I'm going to subtract 10.2 from both sides. And then 10.2 minus 10.2 is zero. And I bring down the negative x is greater than. And 20.8 minus 10.2 is 10.6. Okay, now I just need to get rid of this negative sign with the x. That really means a negative one times x. So I'm gonna do the opposite of that, which is dividing by negative one. And since I'm dividing by a negative, I'll need to flip the inequality sign. So I get x is less than negative 10.6. So there is the solution set x is less than negative 10.6 and now I need to graph this. So 10, negative 10.6, I'm gonna put it right here and then it's gonna be easiest if I just put negative 10.7 right below it and then negative 10.5 right above it. And it's an open circle since it is less than and it would be negative 10.7 that is less than negative 10.6. So I'm gonna to shade towards the left. Okay, let's look at number three. I have 1 third x plus 12 is greater than 10. So I need to undo this plus 12 constant by subtracting 12 from both sides. That zeroes out, I'm left with 1 third x is greater than 10 minus 12 is negative two. And now I have one third times x here. So the opposite of one third times x would be to divide by one third. Remember dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So I'm gonna mul multiply both sides by three over one. That simplifies out to one. X is isolated. I multiplied by a positive, so the sign stays the same. And then negative two times three over one, or just negative two times three is negative six. So I get x is greater than negative six. So negative six goes in the middle, negative seven right below it, and negative five right above it. And it's an open circle on six, and it would be negative five that's greater than negative six, so I will shade towards the right. Okay, number four, I have six plus x divided by four is less than or equal to 10. So the first thing I need to do is undo this positive six constant by subtracting six from both sides. 
and I get x divided by 4 is less than or equal to 10 minus 6 is 4. And then x is being divided by 4 right here, and the inverse of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4. So that cancels out, and I get x is less than or equal to 4 times 4 is 16. So x is less than or equal to 16 is the solution set I'll graph. 15 is right below that, and 17 is right above that. It'll be a solid circle on 16 since it's less than or equal to, and it's 15 that's less than or equal to 16, so I'll shade towards the left. Okay, number five says 1.23 minus 1.6 is greater than 2.83. So the first thing I need to do is remove this 1.23 constant. That 1.23 is positive, so I need to do the opposite of that, which is subtract 1.23 from both sides. The constant zeroes out, and I'm left with negative 1.6x is greater than 2.83 minus 1.23 is 1.6. And then I divide both sides by a negative 1.6. And I'm dividing by a negative, so it's going to flip the inequality sign to be less than. And then 1.6 divided by negative 1.6 is negative 1. All right, now I just need to graph x is less than negative 1. Negative 1 will go in the middle. Negative 2 is right below that, and 0 is right above it. It'll be an open circle on negative 1 since it's just less than, and it would be negative 2 that is less than negative 1. So I'm going to shade towards the left. Okay, let's look at number 6. I have 3 plus x divided by 2 is greater than or equal to 4.5. So I need to undo that positive 3 constant first by subtracting 3 from both sides. And on the left side, I'm left with x divided by 2 is greater than or equal to 4.5 minus 3 is 1.5. And then I have x divided by 2. The opposite of that would be multiplying by 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. And I get x is greater than or equal to 1.5 times 2 is 3. And now I just need to graph this solution set. x is greater than or equal to 3. There's my number line with 3 in the middle. It's a closed circle on 3 since it's greater than or equal to, and it would be 4 that's greater than or equal to 3, so I shade towards the right.